Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. Don't throw your phone. There's nothing wrong with the screen. Don't bang on your computer. It's black for a reason. This right here is your ordinary trick-or-treating bucket that we've used for many of years. You go trick-or-treating at dark and you can't see no one. This is the Fentertainment trick-or-treating bucket right here. This is all portable. Runs off of batteries, LED strips, and uh, it changes colors, so you can change the colors to match your outfit. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to make it. Alright guys, so here is your normal trick-or-treating bucket. This bucket's been around for many years. It does the job just fine, and it's relatively cheap. Less than a buck in some stores. So, why do we want to make a bucket? Well, we want to make something personalized. What's next? Very simple. We have two gallon. These buckets are less than $4 from Lowe's. So, what do we do? Basically, there is an image behind this pumpkin here that says it's food grade safe container, as shown on the website here. Um, basically, I made this pumpkin I put a Halloween uh, theme on it also. These are LEDs I have left over from my LED golf cart whip antenna. And you can find that video here in the description. This is a 8AA battery holder. 8AA is 1.5 volts equals 12 volts. 9 volt battery snaps. When you buy your LEDs you would normally get a remote and a controller if you buy an RGB LED. You'll also need a battery DC power plug. These are found at Radio Shack. You'll also need a few tools. We have a stripper, a crimper, a uh, heat gun, some batteries, a solder gun that's not pictured. So to start off with, we're gonna need a couple of things. This is our power tip right here. This is what gives the uh, RGB controller uh, power to control the LED lights. You actually plug it in there. All right, so let's take the black cap off and we'll show you inside of it. This right here, the leg here is connected to the outside of the body. And this little small leg here is connected to this inside here. And this black ring is separating both of them together. All right, so in this case, this is gonna be a tip positive, meaning we're gonna go put positive power on this small uh, leg here and we're going to put ground power on this bigger leg here. So before you solder on the 9 volt snap connector here to your tip, we're going to take the plastic end cap from the tip and slide it over the two wires here like so. Once the wires are connected to the tip, we can screw the cap back on. There you go, you can see it's not touching there. Now we take this cap, slide it back on. So, now we have our pigtail wired up for our power lead in. You can power your LEDs with a 9 volt battery and not have to buy this extra stuff. Or if you have this and you want it to last longer, you can buy this 8AA battery holder, pack of batteries, and it'll work the same. This will match up together like so, and you can power up your LED strip RGB controller and plug it into your RGB lights. And you can change the colors from this here also has the 9 volt battery connector style here and these are going to be a little bit more brighter also running the eight one and a halfs due to its 12 volts versus 9 volts show you a comparison there the next step is to mount the leds on the inside of the bucket so pretty much this is where i can pretty much cut mine right there this is where you want to go ahead and plug in your hot glue gun how we're going to mount this is on the inside of the bucket and we're going to hot glue the outside fascia here to the bottom portion of the inside of the bucket. Controlling the LED lights from the outside of the bucket here. Here's my remote. And as you can tell, I'm back here down low, red, green, blue, and white. Now this pretty much here concludes our build for the bucket. When the lights are off and it's dark outside, the whole bucket lights up pretty much. 
So there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you already have one of these pumpkins and you just want to make it a uh, very quick DIY, another thing you could do is to grab these puck lights. We used these puck lights in the Yeti cups this past year and they do the same thing. RGB, red, green, blue, white, different colors. You can take these and drop them to the bottom of the buckets. These will give you the same effect, a lot quicker DIY. However, once you start loading candy on top of them, it's gonna start taking the light away. I guess that'll let you know that you're almost done uh, trick or treating. Red usually works the best for this right here. They also make these right here, which only has two lights here and here. On Amazon, I think they're around 10 bucks. Okay guys, I appreciate you watching. And uh, just remember that Halloween is a fun time of the year. Uh, and we're just doing the going the extra mile to make the kids a little bit more safer. So if you're looking to do the elaborate way of a trick or treating bucket, or if you just want to do the more inexpensive route, it doesn't matter. And remember guys, just be seen, just be safe this Halloween season. We'll see you later.